Breakfast Television Business Report is brought to you in part by Square.ca. Take all kinds of payments from anywhere, square and fair. And let's bring Mike Apple in right now. And Elon Musk, the man is an eternal optimist, isn't he? <laughs> Holy yeah. cow. I'm a little nervous about this one. I won't lie. Self-driving cars, robo-taxis, whatever you want to call it. He yeah. says by next year, there's going to be a million Teslas with that capability on the road. Uh, this was uh, part of his uh, talk to investors, uh, investor uh, analyst day uh, for Tesla. And... Um, uh, you know, Elon Musk is a visionary. We'll, we'll give him credit for that. But at the same time, uh, those in the know about uh, self-driving technology say, well, first of all, you got to get regulation for all of this. So that's going to take goodness knows how long. And, you know, it's just this idea that all of these cars will be zipping around without well, drivers or pedals or steering they, wheels. Basically, any Tesla that's on lease would come back, put the chip in, and then and out go. it goes. So and there's a competitor the for Lyft and Uber. I, I, there's a bit of wording in there, right? I mean, yeah. he says there's the capability That's of right, it happening. Yeah. But, I mean, he was talking, oh, second quarter of next year is when we're going to see this. So, uh, you know, again, uh, visionary, sure, distraction, perhaps. Tesla reports earnings tomorrow. They're going to lose <laughs> a lot of money in the latest quarter, and their sales have been slowing. And do they have the cash on hand switch. within the company to actually put all this technology into place? Well, I'm sure he would. He wants to see it happen, but I'm sure uh, he does. <laughs> I want I want these things to be absolutely bulletproof before there is a single car on the road without a driver. And then, as soon as something goes wrong, just once, then of course the immediate pushback will happen, which will push things back even that much further from a timeline standpoint. Yeah, I think we're heading there, but I guess the big question is when do we uh, yeah. when do we get there? Let's not rush it. Uh, anything else, Mike? <laughs> Well, we're watching Samsung today. It's down oh, uh, yeah. in South Korean trade after they did delay the launch of the Galaxy Fold due to, well, breakage issues, for lack of a better uh, term, in beta testing. Probably the best course of action. This is a $2,000 U.S. phone and still some question whether we actually need it. How, how does that happen? Mike Yanni was in with one of those, yeah. and he said their testing was... A hundred times a day, you can open it for, f I think it was five years? Yeah, no, not so much. They started to break in some cases within two days of use. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay. A little PR nightmare. <laughs> I've still got the phone from three years ago, so you know. You, got, you have a flip phone. <laughs> Pretty much, yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike, thank you very thank much, you, sir. Have a good one. Okay. Let's head up to uh, Jordan now in airborne traffic. Jordan.